But Billy Ray, let's kick it off right now. X Thames returns to the Scott and BR show on the Mighty 1090. X, good afternoon. How you doing? How y'all doing? Doing really good. Yourself? Good, good. It's about to board this plane back to sunny San Diego. You're coming back to San Diego? Yeah, I'm coming back. From yeah. where? To Sacramento. I saw my family for a few days, so got to hang out a little bit. Spring nice. break. Spring break, right? Yeah, spring break. Yeah, yeah. How is your mother doing since the Aztecs were knocked out of the NCAA basketball tournament? <laughs> Uh, she's good now, but, you know, after the game, she was mad, you know, she was sad as well, but, you know, it took a few days, you know, for all of us, you know, to recover, but I'm the things is good now. She's all good. <laughs> all right, mom is all good. Yeah. X, yeah, you notice I started with how is mom doing, but I'll ask you the same question. How are you doing now one week after San Diego State was eliminated by Arizona? I'm doing good. You know, like I said, I was, you know, sad, crying in the locker room. Mad, of course, that we lost, but, you know, it took me, like, three or four days, you know, just to reflect back, you know, how uh, how happy I am, you know, with the season. You know, nobody expected us to do the things that we did this year, so uh, it took me a few days, you know, to get, you know, to get over it, but, you know, I'm good now. You must have made about a half a dozen All-American teams, uh, just kind of day <laughs> by day, X. I, was, I kept seeing you pop up. as like, this is great. This is great. You just uh-huh. keep showing up on these All-American teams. That's fantastic. Yeah, yes it is, yeah. Without my teammates, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, without my coaching staff, you know, none of that would have been possible. Right. Because, you know, it's all it's all about winning, you know, win every team. So I got to give my teammates a lot of credit in my coaching staff. All right, San Diego State point guard, X Thames. I should call him now former San Diego State point guard because <laughs> you, you, you tell us, I mean, what happens to your basketball life starting Monday of this week? I mean, you know, assuming spring break comes to an end, where do you go from here? Uh, well, just working out, you know, just getting ready you know, for all the uh, pre-draft workouts and things like that. Just constantly staying in the gym, and, you know, lifting, trying to get bigger. So that's just the main thing, you know, finishing up school as well. You know, I graduated May 17th. So those are the two things uh, I'm going to start doing on Monday. <laughs> do, do you have a kind of a couple of steps down that path of finding an agent, or do you already have one? Uh, no, I don't have one. I'll okay. probably uh, decide, you know, this weekend or next uh, next week or so, but I haven't decided yet. I know a couple of guys that would like to represent you. Mm. <laughs> you know, they do a radio show. A couple of guys right. really love your work. You know, okay. A couple yeah. guys that really hype you up. <laughs> a couple guys who really care uh-huh. about your mama. That's right. You yeah, know, I know, I know. I might have to, you know, go with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> X Thames on Scott BR on the Mighty Ten Ninety. I, I, I want to ask you as you've had a week now to think about it. When you look back to that Arizona game. What, in your analysis, happened late in that game that allowed them to take the game over and steal the momentum? Um, I, you know, I just think we went on a, a little drought. And, you know, that uh, Aaron Gordon dunk, you know, kind of really really got them the momentum. And, you know, that was a big-time play. You know, he's a big-time player. But, you know, it just didn't go our way. You know, it could have went either way. You know, we could have been on the other side of it. You know, Arizona, you know, they just made more plays than us. And they just, you got to give them credit, but. But X, do you, do you think, as some have speculated, that you guys played so intensely in the first half mm-hmm. and exerted so much energy that late in the game you guys ran out of gas? I don't think so. You know, it was a tournament. You know, everybody, you know, not thinking about that. I don't think we ran out of gas. I just think Arizona made a few more plays than we did. You know, they got great players over there and great coaching staff. And Nick Johnson hit a big three. You know, he was like 0 for, 0 for something. And then for him to hit that three, you know, I think we were down two or three or something like that. For him to hit that three, that was big for him. But they yeah. just made more plays than us down the stretch. What, what about Josh Davis, though, hurting his foot and limping through probably the last five minutes of the game? What, what do you think that, in terms of impact, what do you think that had to do with it? Uh, most definitely a little bit. You know, he was telling me during the game, like, man, I could barely run, but I'm going to try to stick through it. You know, so I think it did have a little impact, but like I said, you got to give them, you got to give them credit as well. You know, they're a great team. But you know, Josh was hurting. You know, after halftime, nobody really knew, and he just, you know, he just gutted it out. You know, that's what he's been doing all year. Yeah, Xavier Thames on Scott Br on the Mighty Ten Ninety. Um, okay, let me ask you this. Mm. I know we're we're only a week removed from what was a phenomenal season, mm-hmm. but you know the players that are coming back. Uh, yeah. you, you know the staff. 
Mm-hmm. And you probably know some, if not all, of the kids coming in, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen next year when you've got probably seven of your top nine guys returning and you've got four heralded freshmen yeah. coming to town? Yeah. Yeah, Angelo. What, yeah and, and Angelo Chol, who's now going to you know be done with his whole transfer. What do you think is going to happen next year to this basketball team? Because for me, it can either go in one of two ways. Everybody adores their role and gets their playing time mm-hmm. and works together mm-hmm. as a team and they go off. Or attitudes, egos, et cetera, and, and there's not enough ball to go around. What do you think is going to happen next year? Yeah, I think they will have a great year. You know, nobody's like that, you know, on the team right now. And the guys that's coming in don't have egos or anything like that, you know. I'm pretty sure people see, you know, once you come together as a team and you guys, everybody's a family, you can go far, you know, like we did. So I think, man, I really think they could get to the Final Four. You know, honestly, I'm not just saying that because, you know, I went to San Diego State and I played there. Not honestly, think with the talent that we have coming in and the guys coming back, like, they can make some serious noise. <laughs> Yeah, and it, I think you look at the head coach, and when when you're thinking about if if there's going to be any any uh, yeah. clashing going on uh, when, when you get this next team together, mm-hmm. Steve Fisher knows how to handle that. I think he he's got a great staff, and and that's going to mm-hmm. pretty much keep that from happening. Well, you got to look yeah. back to that that Fab Five freshman yeah, year, and absolutely. you and you look back to that Michigan team, and you go look at the upperclassmen mm-hmm. that were passed over for these five mm-hmm. freshmen. And how did Coach Fisher handle that? Because to say he's never seen anything like this would be actually an incorrect statement because he has seen something like this. Exactly, exactly. I think that, uh, Coach Fish, you know, he's been through it all, but he's not going to have a problem with uh, none of the guys and the egos and the coaching staff as well. You know, we have a good coaching staff over there. And like I said, I think the sky's going to limit, you know, for the team next year. We got, we're going to have a lot of guys, you know, 10 deep, I think. So it's going to be fun. I can't wait to watch them. All right, X Thames getting ready to board a flight to come from Sacramento back down to San Diego. Now, listen, one thing before you go. Mm. You're our guy. You understand that? I mean, yeah, when I say I, our I, guy, I, I mean, mean you're San Diego's guy. <laughs> okay? And listen, like even tonight, Kawhi Leonard and and San Antonio is going to try and go for their 20th win against uh, you know Oklahoma City, and it's a great story. Mm-hmm. But Kawhi was never a big personality. He was always a quiet kid. And we yeah. liked Kawhi, but... Kawhi's gone off, and now life has taken him in a different direction. Uh, mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. talked for a long time to, uh, say, like a Malcolm Thomas, sure. you know, yeah. um, and, and we would bring him back on on occasion. And again, life has taken him elsewhere. Mm-hmm. DJ Gay still makes occasional returns to the radio station, but mm-hmm. X Thames is our guy. So mm-hmm. I don't know where life is going to take you in the next two, three, five years, whether it's an NBA career or an international pro career, whatever it is. You got to make sure you are staying in touch with us and vice oh, versa, because you're the guy. No, you understand? No, no doubt, no doubt. You know, I love you guys. You guys are funny. You know, you guys are cool to my people. So, you know, anytime you know I want to call, you guys can call me anytime. It doesn't matter. You know, I got you guys. All right, much love, brother. Thanks. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> X, have yeah, a good love. flight, man. Have a good, safe flight, and uh, thanks for coming on today. We really do appreciate. It. Congratulations on an amazing senior yeah, year. Yeah, thanks, X. Thank you, guys. I appreciate All that. Right, All right, X Thames. Mm. Love that guy. Love his mom. Mm-hmm. Like his dad. Sure. But I love his mom. There you go. She's so adorable. That's so nice. What a mom. Sure. What a great mom. Yes, she is.